Good afternoon children. Welcome to today's moral science class. Children, in the last class, you have learned about your neighbors. You have already learned in the previous classes about your teachers, parents and also God. Today, I am going to teach about a person whom you like very much. Do you know who are they? Yes, your friends. So today I will be taking you a lesson about your friends. So children, who are your friends? Friends are those who help, help you. Isn't it? Who helps you, who take care of you, who love you and also you share everything with them. So all of you Open page number 23. The lesson is lesson 7. Our friends. Now look here children. Our friends. See I am reading. All of you put your finger here. And I, as I am reading. Listen to it carefully. Okay. All of us need friends. We all need friends. Isn't it children? You all want friends. When we are in need, they help us. So if we are in need, if we, if we need some help, your friend helps you. Like when you are absent or one day if you didn't go to school, the next day when you go, they tell what they have done in the class the previous day or they give their notebooks to you for writing the work given to you in the previous class. Now when we are in trouble they support us. When we are in difficulty we are in difficult times they support us. Our friends play with us. They play also with us. You have many friends. You have friends in your neighborhood. You have friends in your school. You have relatives as friends. Isn't it? So they play with you. They study with us. Even they study with you. They share their time with us. They take their time and be with you. They share their time with you. We expect our friends to do many things for us. So, we want, you all also want that your friends should do many things for you. In the same way, we should be helpful to them. We want that our friends should help us in every way. Same way, they also want us to help them. We should trust them. We should believe them. We should trust them. We should help them if they are poor. And if they are poor, we should help them. How to help them? To share your things or to share your books or in school you can share your lunch. So if they are poor, you can share or you can help them. Good friends bring us so much joy and happiness. And such friends, those who are very good they bring happiness to your life. They make you happy. Okay. Now children, turn the page. A friend is one who help us in need. Who helps us in need. A friend is such a person who helps us in need. When we are in trouble, he or she does not run away. Now, if we are in difficulty, they will not run away. They will help us in that situation. He or she stays back to help us. Now, he or she, they wait there to help us. A friend in need is a friend indeed. So, whenever we want a friend or a friend, when we want them, they help us that time. That is the real friend. Okay, so children, in this lesson, what did you learn? 
you learnt about friend that they help you they be with you they share things with you and when you are in difficult times they be with you there to help you now children <clears throat> let us start with the exercise given in page number 24 before that before doing the exercise would you like to hear a song about friend okay now look at the video and listen to the song and sing with the video okay sing with the video song you also sing together okay just watch it. let us do the exercises now write what you will do now you have to write there what you will do a your friend is sick if your friend is not well then what you will do you will what you will do children first one a what you will do you will inform your teacher isn't it if you are in school you will inform your teacher if you are in friend's house then whom you will inform you will inform his parents and if your friend is in your home then you will inform your parents so if your friend is sick sick you think you are in school so if your friend is sick then you write there i will inform i n f o r m inform my teacher i will inform my teacher 
ओके और आई विल इन्फॉर्म आवर टीचर और आई विल इन्फॉर्म ए टीचर एनी थिंग यू कैन राइट नो नेक्स्ट वन योर फ्रेंड इज इन नीड ऑफ हेल्प Now, if you your friend wants some help, what you will do? I will help my friend. I will help my friend. And children, if it is a difficult situation for you to help. then what you will do you will ask help from someone if it is a difficult situation for you to help it out then what you will do you will inform somebody else or ask some others to help you to help your friend here you just write i will help my friend what you will do i will help my friend so if your friend is sick sick what you will do i will inform my teacher next your friend is uh, your friend is in need of help then i will help my friend okay now next one second one you have to do yourself okay second one you have to do it yourself and let us see look here write the names of your four friends so you have to write the names of your four friends you have to write it here a b c d you have to write your it can be your school friends it can be your relatives it can be your neighbors okay so you have to write the names of your four friends here this is your homework now next page answer the following who is your best friend so who is your best friend chilen yes a best friend is those who help us in need okay now here who is your best friend you can just write the name your friend's name it can be two friends it can be one friend your best friend's name you write it there now next one here a is you have to write your who is your best friend you have to write the best friends name now b how have you become friends how have you become friends so you have your best friend so how how have you become her or his friend by helping by helping who by helping him if it is a boy you will write him and if it is a girl you will write her so how you have become friends by helping him or by helping her now next one what is the quality that you love most in your best friend it is about your best friend what do you which quality do you like most your best friend's quality you have written a name over there so why do you why do you how have you become friends by helping him or her isn't it so which quality your friends you like there are many, lots and lots of qualities children caring loving helpful faithful loyal honest okay so which quality do you like your friends most so see you can write there anything i am writing there helpful so this is the quality which i like the most in my best friend so which quality you like in your best friend you have to write there okay Now next one is write a short prayer for your friend. Now you have learned how to write a prayer. You have written a prayer for your teacher in your exam. So same way you have to write a short prayer for your friend. So all of you take your pencil you will write. So what is a prayer children? 
a prayer means you are asking God for something. So what are you asking for? You are asking God for your friend. You are saying a prayer. How do you say a prayer? You fold your hands, close your eyes. Isn't it? And you say a, say the prayer. Say way a prayer is something where you ask God. Isn't it? Now, how to write a prayer, children? How to write a prayer? Yes, you have to write a prayer. In this way, all of you write, Dear God, when you are saying a prayer, you will always pray to whom? You will pray to God. How will you say? Dear God, then you write, Take care, C-A-R-E, care of my friend, take care of my friend and his, if it's a boy you will write his. Or if it is a girl, you will write her family members. Okay? That means you are praying God to take care of your friend and his or her family members. His you will write for boy and if it's a girl, you will write her. Then bless them. This is a prayer. Okay, children? Bless them. Now, you have written a prayer for your friend. How to pray? You will fold hands and pray. Dear God, take care of my friend and his or her family. Taking care of my friend and his or her family. And bless them. And you are asking God to bless them. Okay. Now children, you have got the answers. Now turn the page. Do you know when is friendship day? Children, when is friendship day celebrated? Do you know? Yes. When first Sunday of the August month. Okay. First Sunday you celebrate. Which month? August. August. First Sunday you celebrate as Friendship Day. Now, here an activity is given how to make a friendship band. So, there are different types of making a band. You can make with paper, you can make with thread, you can make with wool. Okay, here they have taken wool ribbons and made it. Okay, in the same way you can make it, you can give it a different form. So I hope you all will do this activity and send it to me. Now your homework is page number 24. Number 2 write the names of your friends. You have to write the names as well as who is your best friend. You have to write their name. Okay children. So what did you learn today? You learned about your best friend or you learned about your friends. So children I hope. You too will try to become a good friend. That whenever your friend wants you, you will help them. You will share with them. You will also become a very good friend. So a friend in need is a friend indeed. Okay children, thank you. Meet you in my next Moral Science class. Till then, bye. Have a great day.